I think uh, you can trace a couple of things. Number one, uh, Nikki only played 15 minutes in the game. So when your point guard's out against pressure defense, that hurts. Number two, the game got ridiculously physical, and we did not handle it at all mentally or physically. We just – they got up into us, and, and, and we just did not handle it at all. Uh, and then it, it was compounded by we didn't guard anyone in the second half. And uh, when you're scoring, it's easier to press. If you're not scoring, it's a little harder to press. So – it was the – everything that could have gone wrong did go wrong. And, and, and as a result, uh, you know, TC did a great job. They, they made shots. They attacked us. Uh, they made us completely uncomfortable. And, you know, without Nikki and, and we found out after the game, Jade was probably playing on a foot and a half, not two feet, because she hasn't been back since. So all those things go together, but uh, you can't take anything away from TCU. They earned it. They played really hard. They've done it to other people. They did to Oklahoma State the next game. Uh, they're a team that uh, has picked a style that's a little unique in our league and just press like crazy and see what happens. And uh, at home, in, in their facility, with their fan base, and the uniqueness of the setting, uh, we just, again, we just did not handle it any way, any, in any way, shape, or form that we should have, and it cost us. You know, they really didn't surprise me because when you look at a lot of the rosters in our league, they have a lot, a lot of seniors and juniors. Now they have a new coach, and, and they're playing a different style, but when you have seniors and juniors that have at least been through the league, they know what they have to do, they know uh, the level of competition, um, and, and so, I, I, no, I, I'm not surprised. Really, I'm not surprised by anything, really. Uh, but I, I do think that when you have skilled guards who are older, you always have a chance. You always have a chance, and that's what they have. I think what's I think what's happening is you know you already have you know after five games there's only two teams undefeated and everyone else has more than at least two losses. Uh, I think you're finding our league is is a is a league that you know we have the number one I think RPI in the in the country and everyone's going to beat each other up in the 18 games and all that stuff so I don't know that it anyone right now would say it's a huge surprise to where anyone is but uh, you know I think the, the the challenge again is you know at what point is there separation where you can't recover um, and can you stay up you know stay in the middle you know, if you're in the top five or six, you're in great shape. And, and once you fall down below, that's why the other night was big. I mean, there's four road teams that won in our league, and that doesn't happen very often. So when you get those, you, you, you really enjoy those. So, and uh, we did. We, it was fun. It was fun to get on the bus after you won and watch the guys. It was, there was a lot of yelling and screaming going on on the bus on the way back. So that was fun. Don't have many nights like that.